What's up guys, Higgins in Japan here with um, another video for you guys and um, I just thought that I would share with you some of the uh, things that I got this year from my students uh, for graduation. So it's the end of the year uh, with this whole coronavirus thing and classes being canceled and, and school being kind of shut down. Um, graduation was um, a little bit different this year. Um, it was basically just open to students that were graduating and their parents and teachers. Um, normally it's a thing that's open to the entire school, but because of like the coronavirus and stuff, things were kind of eliminated and limited to just, um, just to, just to the students that were graduating. So it made for like a shorter ceremony It made for less speeches. Thank God. <laughs> um, and it made for, um, uh, kind of a weird, I don't know, it was kind of a weird day, like, because everybody had been called off of school for the past couple of weeks, and so to see kids back in school was kind of weird um, for just one day, um, but it was really cool to see all of my students graduate. Um, I've been at that junior high for three years now, so I've seen them go through the whole thing, and so yeah, I definitely wanted to, to show up for graduation, but graduation um, in Japan is pretty cool. And, um, but beforehand, before graduation starts or before graduation actually happens, um, more than likely you'll get some um, notes or some things from some of your students um, just because it's the last time that they're probably gonna see you. Um, I live in a pretty big town, but you know, there's enough stuff in town that you'll probably see them eventually again. If you live in a really small town, you'll probably see them a lot more often. But, um, yeah, so, I mean, just, like, little things like notes that you'll get. You'll get, like, little notes from students. Um, sometimes you'll get um, things from, like, an entire class. So, this was from one of my classes. And then on the inside, just a whole bunch of notes written to you. Um, sometimes in English, sometimes in Japanese. Um, you know, sometimes you'll get the kids that got, got kind of close to writing something that was, you're like, oh, okay, I understand what you're trying to say. Maybe I should have worked with you a little bit more, <laughs> uh, during the school year. But anyways, um, no, it's really good to get, um, like notes like this from students because, I don't know, it just makes you feel good, right? At the end of the year. Um, when you're like, what did I do? Did I even teach anything? Did I even, you know, did anything that I teach come across as usable? Like, did these kids even pay attention to me? Like, w was any of this worth it? Um, and I think I'll show you this last, this is the last one I'm going to show you guys, but, um, <clears throat> cause normally you'll just get like these, um, or you'll get like little notes. Um, sometimes you'll get like fancy little letters with, you know, little flower stickers and stuff on them, but um, some of the, the kids that are like trying to overachieve right <laughs> now, but, um, uh, this one class in particular knew that I made videos on YouTube. And so they, um, they straight up, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably have already seen this, but they straight up made me like this, um, Higgins in Japan, like play button type thing. And on the back it said subscribe. And then on the inside, it's got written, you know, a whole bunch of notes from all the kids about, you know, thanks for English class. One kid said, uh, where was the one? Oh, thank you for everything. I subscribe to your YouTube. Good. So, um, yeah, obviously I don't like advertise that I have a YouTube channel. It somehow gets out every year. Um, and especially if you're at the same school for a couple of years, like then one group of kids finds out and then another group of kids finds out. And then for years and years and everybody's, Oh, are you a YouTuber? Are you I'm like, yeah, some, and I usually try to like ignore it. Um, but I really like this. I really thought this was super cool. Cause it was like, you know what? This is the coolest play button that I could ever get. Like I'll never get a play button from YouTube, but I got this play button from my students. Um, and this one means a lot more than I think anything that YouTube could send me. Um, or will, will, will ever send me. So yeah, I mean, graduation and the end of the school year can kind of be bittersweet because you're like, oh, I'm going to miss those kids. Like they were, most of them were pretty good <laughs> for the most part. Um, but, uh, yeah, it's when you get stuff like this that you're like, all right, you know, it was worth it. Like the whole year and 
the the grading of papers that didn't make sense or the ones that made you laugh or the ones that you were like, no, this isn't even close. We're going to have to work on more of this or, um, yeah, it's stuff like this at the end of the school year that, that makes kind of teaching, um, in Japan kind of all worth it. So I just thought I would share some of this stuff with you guys. Cause I know a lot of times people, um, that make videos about life in Japan or teaching in Japan kind of don't share like the cool stuff, the positive stuff, the like fun stuff that they get. Um, maybe they do. I don't know. I don't watch YouTube. <laughs> but a lot of times I feel like it's easy to to point at the, the cracks of life in Japan and not focus on like the cool things and the positive things. And um, yeah, if you're a good teacher, even if you're not a good teacher, you'll still get stuff like this. But if you're a good teacher, stuff like this means a little bit more to you, I think. Um, it's like, yeah, like something I did mattered. Um, and so this is like this, this is going, this has actually been sitting above my computer on my computer desk. Um, and this is going to be something that I keep out probably for a long time. Some of the other ones, like the more generic ones, I always keep, I always hang on to them. I have a, I have like a box that over the years I've just put everything into. And so, um, yeah, just hang on to those memories. And I would say, even if you're only here for like a short time, um, it's cool to look back on, uh, that stuff. And every time I find that box, I'm always like, oh, and I kind of like flip through it. And I'm like, oh, I remember that kid. Or I remember those jokes or I remember those things. And yeah, it's good memories. And it's good, good to hang on to this kind of stuff. And, and stuff like this, especially this one, this is, this is great. Um, and yeah, definitely subscribe, hit the subscribe button. I wish that I could get like my students to like actually subscribe to my channel. Cause then I could totally boost my numbers every year. Cause in my school is almost 900 students this year. So think about that. Hmm. I need to come up with a way to trick all of my students into subscribing. So subscribe if you didn't already. And if you have any questions or comments, leave those in the questions comment section below. Duh, that's how YouTube works. And uh, I'll catch you guys in another video. Uh, maybe another Friday video. Uh, we'll see because school is kind of canceled and there's no reason for me to be driving around on Friday afternoons on the way home from work because I took vacation on Fridays. So we'll see. Peace.